Well, when I look back to the start of the season and um, you know, before I came here, and I, you know, one thing I knew and I heard a lot about was the connect heart and the, the work ethic and, and the way that uh, guys you know, go about their business and you know, I certainly wasn't disappointed. It certainly uh, lived up to all its expectations. You know, this is a wonderful group of people here. I think right from the outset, um, Pat demonstrated to, to everyone he wanted to buy into what Connor was about. Um, from the very moment he arrived, he was really interested in, in the place, um, the people, um, what had gone on before and what had gone well before. He was, he was already up to date on that. Yeah, obviously it was very exciting um, at the start of the season with new coach. Um, I suppose high expectations and um, I suppose a, a general feeling of excitement and a general feeling of freshness. I think initially uh, Pat set us some, some fairly lofty goals and, and with that um, challenged us to play all sorts of rugby, you know, uh, to, to really use the ball and play expansive rugby, uh, to have a solid kicking game, etc. Um, which is which is exciting, you know, it's very exciting as a player. Um, I don't think we quite lived up to it in some areas, in other areas we excelled a lot. Up and down season, you know, we've had some great days, we've had some bad days, but you know, highlight obviously, to lose match away, fantastic day for, for Connacht Rugby, you know. Certainly the, the main highlight of the season was, was uh, beating the, the French champions over there to lose, so uh, I think that was a feeling that I, I'll never forget. <laughs> everyone that was over in this in the Toulouse game that will be a game that people remember for the rest of their lives it certainly will be up there with one of mine um, I think that the most pleasing aspect is we went over there with a game plan knowing we could beat them and to beat them was 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 quality I, I believe the, the game against Toulouse gave all of us a, a glimpse of what we can do when we are on one page and we work hard successful season to date in the Heineken Cup um, but paired with that as well a lot of uh, you know other results in the, the league that didn't unfortunately didn't go our way but you know especially since the turn of the, the year there's been a lot of progress um, going on a, a good winning streak in the last couple of day, a couple of matches um, so uh, hopefully you know a lot of hope for the for the next season as well. Some of the players that we started the season with um, have been missing for big chunks of the season and some of the some of the young players who've taken their their, their opportunities there have, have really blossomed. The the run of games we went four on the trot first time in a while, particularly with the amount of players that we had out um, injured, um, that others have stepped up, and I think that shows you where the process is work, working. That it's not reliant on 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 any particular name. It's reliant on whoever has that jersey at that time. For me, it's all about nurturing the talent that we have here, and. Robbie, Kieran, Dara Leader, Jack, Finley, um, Owen Masters and all these lads have been an integral part of our squad this year. There's um, certainly a lot of talent there and it's great to see. Young fellas are there, you see them here on a Tuesday night playing, training, you know, so I mean hopefully we're going to breed a lot of young indigenous players and you never know, we might come to the point where we'll have a full 15 Connacht kind of players taken to the field, actually indigenous players. Um, I think to be a Connacht supporter, you've got to have something either loose in your brain or you've got to be very loyal. And I think we've got a bit of both going on there. We don't like to do things easy around here. Um, we certainly leave it until the last couple of minutes. And to be a fan and to show the loyalty and support that they have over the last couple of years is, is being outstanding. Definitely, I, I think the, the supporters are keeping faith with, with Pat and what he's trying to do as well, you know. Um, we could definitely see a, a change in fortune, you know, and an improvement uh, as the season progressed. And, uh, you know, it's definitely, uh, you know, going in the right way from our point of view. It's a special place, Connor. It is a special place. It's, uh, it's a place that's always been... Um, 
I suppose dogged by being the underdog. Um, but what that breeds is it breeds passion, it breeds um, loyalty, um, and it breeds that sort of unwavering resilience that we find in the west of Ireland. The fans, when they come, they, they want to see people who play for their jersey. That's what they want to see. They want to see wins, absolutely, but they, first and foremost, they want to see people who really want to put it in. And the likes of Swifty, John Muldoon, Gavin Duffy, um, uh, Johnny O'Connor, over the years have epitomised that kind of thing. And people who come here from all over the world um, buy into that. Um, a lot of pride amongst the rugby camp, I think, within Connacht. Uh, a lot of boys, you know, a lot of boys are born and bred here, and and a lot of boys bleed green for the jersey. So, uh, so that was was something I sort of found that that I had to get a lot of work under my belt, and, and you really had to earn the respect of the players, and and that um, you know before you could you could sort of call yourself a Connacht player as such. So much to be proud for people from here. So much to be proud of. Um, for us, as coming from the other side of the world, have, have you know fallen in love with the place, and it's uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a place that we happily call home at the moment too. So I, I just think that it's uh, a place where we don't have to be looked down, or we don't have to look up. You know, we can, we can you know put the shoulders back with pride that we live in a in a wonderful wonderful area. We are from here, and this is who we are, and uh, we've got to be proud of who we are. The reality is, is everybody hates coming here, and we love playing here. So the the bigger we make this and the harder we make it for other people to come here, the better it is for us. The kind of place that Connaught is uh, engenders that kind of spirit, that kind of fight. Um, and that's something I want to be associated with, that's something I love being associated with. I just want to say a big thank you to all the, all the supporters, all the fans, and uh, that's what drives all of us along every day. Mm -hmm.